Hi, Tara. Hi, Ellen. All right. So, uh, wow, this is, this is hard for me and for you. And this is why I'm wearing this, because I, I found out about your story before I walked out here, and I put it on immediately. Um, uh, Tara's daughter, uh, Taylor, uh, was killed uh, a year ago, 13 years old, in a skiing accident. And uh, it was her dream to come to this show. And you happen to be here almost a year to the day of her, her death. And uh, you're here. And she also wrote a poem that I just read before I walked out here that really, really touched me. And, uh, but you're doing something really good that I want to talk about before you read the poem. But um, talk about Taylor's gift and talk about what you were able to do. Uh, like you said, Taylor was killed on our uh, spring break vacation last year on a, uh, in Beaver Creek. And um, we decided, because of her giving spirit, to donate her organs. And um, we have met three out of the five recipients. And uh, we've met her heart recipient, her kidney and pancreas recipient, sweet man who had dialysis and diabetes for 40 years, and he has nothing of that now. Um, we have uh, met her, um, another kidney recipient also, and she saved lives. And that's what Taylor's Gift is about. We created a foundation called Taylor's Gift. And it's at taylorsgift.org, and it's just to increase the awareness of organ donation to show people how they can re-gift life and renew health and restore a family. Because there are so many people that die really senselessly waiting, waiting for organ donations. Yes. And uh, so what a beautiful thing, and that when I heard that you, uh, you were able to meet the person that, that uh, got her heart, mm -hmm. that must have been an amazing thing. It was. To hear her heart beat again was... Um, there's no words for it yeah. at all. Yeah. Um, and when I read this poem that she wrote, really almost a year to the day, she wrote this a week before she died. It was today. Uh, today. March 8th. She wrote this. Today, on this day a year ago. Um, so this was for my daughter's um, language arts project, and they had to write um, a poem about themselves. And this was a week before we left, and it was this day a year ago that she turned this in. I'm outgoing and friendly. I wonder how long is forever. I hear support from my family whenever I need it. I see myself helping people in every way I can. I want to be on the Ellen DeGeneres show. I'm outgoing and friendly. I pretend I can do anything I want to. I feel touched by the generosity of my sister. I touch people's lives and I worry about failing. I cry at the thought of losing a member of my family. I'm outgoing and friendly. I understand how to make people feel happy, and I say with pride I'm a Christian. I dream about becoming a teacher. I try to make every day like my last. I hope to become successful in life. I'm outgoing and friendly. From Taylor Page Storch. What an amazing, amazing girl. Um, this means so much. Well, it means so much to me, and uh, she is here. And she has, she has been successful. She is doing something big, and you are mm -hmm. doing something big. We're putting the poem on the website. If you want to learn more about Taylor's gift, we're going to put that on the website. And uh, I think things like this just make you realize how important it is to, to treat each other kindly, and you have no idea what tomorrow is. So it shows people they can be a hero. She was a hero. And she, she saved lives that way. And people think that they're organ donors because they think it's on their license. But we really highly recommend that you go check to see if that's the truth because it, sometimes it doesn't make it to the national database. So Good. just check, just double check that you're an organ donor. It'll save lives. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank I'm, you. Uh, I'm so glad I heard that you were here.